we're live Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard the Margu campaign, kind of uh, the tri-generational <laughs> campaign for certain. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, what can we say? Uh, most of the early games are over, so thanks for being here. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us on our Discord channel, go ahead. If you want to buy cool stuff like, I don't know, an uh, iPhone case that is plugged in so you aren't going to see that uh take a look at that uh nobody really cares thanks to pirate dog dice for dice that i'm going to be using to kill these guys with today uh and also oddfishgames.com oddfishgames.com if your game stinks eh, get yourself a little adventure sense uh, and make it smell a whole lot better also if you want to get into writing check out their shine system uh folks uh you might be familiar with these guys if you are good if you aren't that's okay today is going to be a one shot today they are going to do a dog sled race uh let's introduce you to the participants of said wacky racers first up is jason jason who are you and who are you playing so I am playing Jorman Gundir Mouse, uh, a halfling ranger, swarm keeper ranger, uh, <clears throat> to which, and he's a little off. Let's just say that he has a swarm of nature spirits that constantly buzz around his body as mice being chased by serpents and then being eaten in little skeletons. So constantly buzzing around, he's a little crazy and he drags around behind him an arbalist that he calls Old Blue. So you are basically Pigpen from <laughs> yes. the Peanuts. Somewhere it, between Pigpen and Ralphie from A Christmas Story, yeah. Ah, very nice. Uh, don't shoot your eye out until the end. Uh, next up is Middle Frank. Middle Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, we're just going to call my guy Ed, just because I like it. I'm playing Ed, a del Eldrin uh, uh, elf ranger hunter who is uh, haunted by his past demons. He had a little trouble with the law back in the day. No, it's not about exposing himself to halflings. Uh, short person exposure, interesting. How about youngest Frank, who are you? That'll go on the police report. Um, <laughs> um, I am Keen and Peel. I am a ranger elf with a high elf. A high elf You're high that right. looks ugly as can be and is just great at absolutely everything but persuasion. I, you know, I'm getting a vibe off your characters. Yeah. Yeah, he's typecast, <laughs> isn't he? I think he is. Uh, you are going to be the Kramer of the group. Next up is Nicholas. Nicholas, uh, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Nicholas, and I am Sweaty Tallsack. <laughs> so um, last week you've learned your lesson <laughs> you need to change your name on the screen so i remember what to call you there sweaty right. <laughs> but um i'm playing a half elf um bard and i am known to wear leather armor no tights over my leather armor so it just looks weird well, you know, I'm sure that it keeps you sweat tay. Uh, last but certainly not least, I don't think he's going to admit to being the grandfather, but uh, Big Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I'm not Leaf. I'm Bud. I'm not quite up to the Leaf standard. I'm just Bud the Druid. Dwarf oh, Druid. man. Dwarf Druid. Name dwarf named Bud. Okay, uh, folks, uh, these guys normally play in a campaign today. They are going to do a one shot. They are going to go after, and please correct me if I butcher this, the Osina Cup. Did I get it right? Yeah, it's close enough. Good you left out the R. Did you Did just I? say the Semen Cup, Frankie? Uh, a. Where is the R? Wait, Semen Cup? Wait, what kind of R are we playing? After it's the Sweaty semen. Sack or whatever. Yeah. Tall sweaty Sack. sack. <laughs> don't, don't sit there with a microphone. <laughs> I don't know where That's we went one. wrong. You went wrong by having me. That is one. Uh, these guys have all made it to uh, Orsina. Is that better? 
Yes. O R C E. Or Cena, because I can't read this font. This is a horrible font. Uh, they have made it to Orsina in the hopes of taking home the Orsina Cup, a dog sled race that goes around the mountainous region in this particular county. The purse is 400 gold pieces and a golden trophy. More importantly, it's bragging rights for this family. Uh, oh, so you're going to see how they do. Everybody give me a percentage roll first. This will determine you guys picking out your dog sled dogs. Percentage. And if you... Uh, 89. 97. 20. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> Sweat sack and key and peel. <laughs> Is that the uh, 50? Nice even number. What's the first number on this? Zero, zero. So he rolled a 5%. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn. Uh, we're going to start with 97%. Uh, these are your dog sled teams. Choose carefully because each of these teams has something about them that will either be good or or be bad. So, uh, Bud, you're up first. Which of these dog sled teams do you want? I want number eight. Fair enough. Uh, next up is Ed, the exposer. <laughs> I will take, <laughs> I'll take number, I want three. Just give me an even number. <laughs> Fair enough, Ed. Uh, 50 50, sweaty sack. I'll take uh, seven. Uh, 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 yeah, Maz. <laughs> Five. There's no way I'm ever going to get that right. I already butchered the name. Norman Yeager. Uh, Norman and Key and Peel, Peel and Key. Uh, uh, I'll take uh, door number six. 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 Okay, gentlemen, First here one. is what you got. By my luck, they're all going to five white, one black. That'd be five uh, Serenas and one Cooper always yeah. happen to be out front. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, eight. Trying, like, they're all going to turn against me because of my luck. Bud. And try and eat. Minus yes. one to the roll that I will tell you about. Minus uh, one. Maz, five. Minus one to the roll I will tell you about. Uh, Ed, zero to the roll I'm going to tell you about. Uh, P key and peel, peel and key, zero to the number, and last but not least, sweaty tall sack. Ouch, plus one. Uh, each of these will indicate the roll on your time variance. Minuses are better, <laughs> so two of you got lucky. Uh, you guys roll into town. And clearly there are several people here that uh, are be going to be participating. They seem to be quite confident in their abilities and they will pick uh, one, two, and four. Uh, so there will be a full house, but for the purposes of this game, you guys are gonna compete against each other for the bragging rights of the family. Uh, the next morning you all wake up and the mayor of the town, Don John, master explains to you what's going to happen uh each of you have already picked a sled and the provided dog teams you will leave orsina at the same time and begin the race around uh the county uh this race will take four days each day will be separated by uh, a resting point uh, so you don't have to do it all at once and you don't have to die so you will leave here, Orsina. You will go up this area, either left or right, to the Tower of Nicholas, uh, where you will rest for the night. <laughs> After that, you will go left or right through a narrow pass, probably dangerous, 
uh, to the town of uh, Franklin. Uh, the following day, you leave again, left or right. You land at Jason's Stake, a mining colony. And the final day, you'll go left or right to get to Orsina. Uh, each trip is going to take eight hours, plus or minus a roll, plus or minus what your dog sled teams have. So, example, if Mr. Moss rolls a four, that will put him at nine hours, but he will subtract 15 minutes because his dog sled team is rather hardy. He will also leave at the same point of arrival. So if you arrive first in the best time, you leave the following morning at that time with everybody else falling in behind. This can put people at an unfair advantage. Okay, This is from a tournament module I wrote, and it will get hairy on the math. Uh, first stop, Tower Nick. Uh, second, leave the order. Uh, the first one to Orsina will be declared the winner of the contest and owner of the cup. Any questions? Because I've gone through that rather quickly. I'm sure there will be, but that's fine. I uh, see free provision at each stop. Uh, yes, you also have provisions on your dog sled. They will not be a problem. Uh, now, uh, Don John Master will tell you, for the most part, there are spotters at both or at all three locations. Uh, so they will check in. This is not going to be any cheating, no underhanded tricks. Plus, uh, everybody is there. So you guys will know the order of entry. Uh, this is the frontier. So there may or may not be problems along the way. Uh, and those would face off with you on a solo level, uh, i.e. if... Keenan Peeled uh, gets into a problem. Sweaty Tall Sack, if he is going the same direction, may or may not assist uh, or may or may not have his own problem to deal with. Uh, it will all depend on the roles. So this game could get over really quick or this game could go on a while. So uh, who's in it for the Orsina Cup? There you go. Uh, starting out the morning at the crack of dawn, there is uh, uh, just a group of uh, celebrants still drunk from the night before. They have lined the starting gate, so to speak. All five of you have your dog sled teams up and running. They are ready to go. They've all peed. They've all pooped. They are just chomping at the bit, if you will. <laughs> now, since none of you uh, currently have... Uh, we shall say, run a dog sled team. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with a D20 roll uh, by everybody uh, for animal handling. Natural 20. No problems with you. Do we get that or bonus? Uh, yes. The 20, animal handling. 20, 30, 17. Uh -huh. 20, 17. Uh -huh. Those are good. Animal handling plus two. You got a 12. I got 12. How do I roll suck so bad? Don't use those heavy ass dice that you roll crappy with. And uh, Ed the Exposer? Oh, 19. Okay. Uh, so, other than Keenan, uh, everybody else uh, gets out of the gate fairly well. Keenan, uh, I'm not going to give you a penalty at this point in time. Uh, you're <laughs> welcome. Uh, as you guys hear the stout. St Ugh. starting gong you all take off and you head into the hillside frontier uh where the race begins you'll notice that there are flags about every 300 or so feet which is nice uh you know i'm not gonna strand you too bad uh so you take off and let's use the star uh, head off. Keenan, you have the worst luck, but you're pretty much in sync with everybody else. Uh, about two to three hours later, you reach this point. Uh, so far, it's been a sunny day, blue skies, 
no issues with storms, no. Uh, no snowstorms, no avalanches, none of those bad things, no Bigfoot, Yeti, etc. Each one of you now needs to tell me, are you going to go to the left or to the right? So let's start with Bud. Uh, I think I'll go to the right. Bud says right. Uh, Maz. Left. Uh, Ed. Left. Uh, Keenan. Left. Nice. And Tall Sack. <laughs> I'll go to the left. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Yeah, the intuition has left my pain floor. Well, good news. Uh, if anybody on the left gets in trouble, they may be assisted by those going there or wash your hands of it. Uh, everybody give me well, mm -hmm. every, everybody give me a DC 15 animal handling. Uh, 14. 15. Oh no. Oh. I'm going to see the number. I got 15. 15. Uh, three passes, two fails. Uh, Bud, the only one going to the right. Uh, you aren't having much of a problem. Uh, the area is wide open, as you can tell. There's a nice chasm here. You see a variety of flora and fauna. Uh, filtering about some caribou, some antelope, even some winter bison. Uh, the crisp air feels good in your lungs and your dogs are happy as heck. Over on the left side, things are a little bit different uh, as, let's see here, Moz, Ed, uh, give me perception checks. Seventeen. Twenty-four. You both see it coming. Uh, a rider appears off to your left, and they are running parallel with you, but they are starting to angle. This does not look like a human, and that does not look like a horse. Uh, the dogs that you have are starting to become, shall we say, concerned as a large armored goblin is riding a warg into battle and attacking you two, Keenan and Tulsack, <laughs> uh, if you would like to help, go ahead and give me initiative. If you want to zoom past them and say, screw it, no initiative needed. Everybody who wants in on this fight, give me initiative. <laughs> goblin courage. I don't see any. Then. 23. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the one. I can't slow down. I want the cup. Uh, fortunately, uh, the Goblin Rider <laughs> only rolled a seven, so we will start with Ed. Hey, right. I'm twanging at him. Longbow. Uh, 22. Oh, yeah, easily. Are you shooting at him or the warg? Because that's the warg. Okay, easily hit. I just want to check: are we are we still moving on the sled and shooting? I will assume that you are still moving, unless you tell me otherwise, because you don't want your dogs killed or eaten. <laughs> and Is it, but no disadvantage or penalty for shooting while riding. I'm gonna allow it. I'm an elk time. ranger. Gotcha. <laughs> and you're a ranger too, correct? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to assume that this is your favored terrain. Uh, you know what? This is for fun, so I'm not going to give you penalties. Uh, 10 damage to the warg. Nicely done. Uh, not enough to bring him down, and it continues to lope through snowdrifts. Uh, Mr. Moss, you're up. Firing a crossbow. Uh, 16. Are you aiming for the warg or the warg. goblin? Uh, hit. Sweet, 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 sweet. Ugh. Ugh. Seven damage. 
uh, again, uh, causes him to limp a little bit, but not so much. He closed, They both close quickly on the incline and go in on you. Currently, only the goblin uh, is going to attack each of you. Uh, they will swing a scimitar and swing a scimitar wildly. So the first one on Jorg, Jorg de, Mr. Moss. Did you say Moss? Yeah. First swing, uh, 14. Uh, miss. And second at disadvantage, uh, 18 and a five. So I'm guessing five plus four is going to miss. On Ed, uh, who may or may not have his pants on, uh, four <laughs> and advantage. Uh, five and an 18. So both of those swings go wild. Uh, the warg has sauntered up next to you and will be snapping at your dogs. Your dogs in almost sheer panic are thundering forward unless you want to cause them to stop. This will be round two. What would you guys like to do? I'm switching my weapon. By the way, Keenan and uh, Sweaty Tall Sack, Sayonara, bitches. <laughs> yep. Never saw him. <laughs> the goblin's in melee range now, right? The goblin is in melee range. All right. I'm, yeah, just like with uh, uh, Ed, I'm switching to my short sword for attack. Okay. Or Keenan. Keenan, you're up. Or I'm sorry, no, you're right. Ed. Ed, you're up. I'm you swinging. 23. Swinging. Swinging. 16. At the wall. No. Oh, add four. Hit. At the warp. I'm sorry. At the dog. Oh, it's oh, down. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you got him. So I just want to picture this. Is the is the war the war grider in between the two sleds? Or do we have two war, war There are two war riders, okay. one on each of you. Thirteen points. Uh whew, he's limping. Oh, no, 13. That's you. Yeah, he's limping, but he's not down yet. This is a tough-ass wolf. 18. 18 hits. Are you going after the warg or the goblin? The warg. Yep, that Eight, hits. Nine, 17 points. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, By the way, my ranger fighting style was duelist, and it's a die six for the swarm keeper attack if I successfully hit. So it's a bonus. There That's you go. what I have. Do uh, it. Yeah. Do it. yeah. Uh, sadly, you guys have injured the warg, and this might be the last attack they get uh, on Mr. Moss. Ooh, 19 for the first yeah. swipe plus four, 23. Second swipe at disadvantage. Uh, I see a three, so no. On Ed, eight plus four is 12. Uh, disadvantage, 12 and a one. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, on Mr. Moss, using the fill bar die. Uh-oh. Ooh, bad. that is not good. Uh, one plus two is three damage as he slashes you across. Uh, both of the wargs are really having a hard time moving forward now because they are very injured, uh, despite the goblins yelling at them. So... Let's see if you can put it out of its misery, Ed. Come on, Ed. You can do it. Uh, dirty 20. Yep, that hits. You need three hit points. I used to imagine a half-naked man riding a dog sled with a bow and arrow. 17 points of damage. That will kill the warg. Uh, I will perform a jump here in just a second. Mr. Moss, you are up. You need to do two hit points to kill the warg. I hit it, and I do a minimum of three, so... There you go. Both wargs plunder face first into the snowdrifts. The goblins are going to make a dex save. If either of them get a nat 20, they're going to jump onto your sled. If either one of them get a one, they're going to impale themselves on your sled, causing you to veer left or right, and you will have to hack them off your sled. Mr. Moss... <laughs> No shit. Nat 20. <laughs> First one of the night. Uh, Ed. 
Not one, I shit you not. <laughs> uh, oh, there's yeah, the one, baby. and there's the 20. Uh, fight <laughs> continues. Uh, so, oh, Ed, you're only going to need to successfully cut its arm off uh, and let it drift into the snow. Moss, uh, you got yourself a handful. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ed, you're up first with the 23. Good news is I don't get an attack this round for either of you. 21. Uh, you hack him off at the wrist. Now you have a nice goblin hand hanging on to your thing. Uh, you will veer odd even. Even, you veer to the right uh, and spray the warg with snow as you go by. Uh, Moss, uh, do you want to parlay? Maybe, you know, see if this guy wants to do something. Uh, try and grapple and throw him off. What do you want to do with him? You want to get the fingers? Huh? I'm going to try to throw him off my... I'm going to try to stab him with the short sword. Fair enough. And I missed. Okay. Uh, I, I do not get an attack this round. So, Ed, did you Shooting want to help Shooting Moss? Med. Or do you want to just uh, try and catch up to Sweaty Tall Sack and Keenan Peeled? Oh little people small people they're called little people not yes ed did you want to help or take off i'm out of there there you go uh okay moss you're on your own you know what i'm gonna pull ahead as far as i can reach about you know i think what's my reach uh 130 feet and then i'll shoot from a distance well that can't go wrong not looking as well hey i've seen it air legolas can do it you are not quite Legolas. Uh, Moss, you still <laughs> wanted uh, initiative on this round. He will attack if you don't knock him off. All right, I'm trying. 13? Nope. Uh, he is only going to get one attack, though. <laughs> well, the good thing is, is at least we know the goblin will be there when my arrow arrives. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Ed, uh, you pull ahead. Give it a shot. <laughs> well now sorry moss <laughs> or, you know, the, or this you what happens when i try to do dog. something right and help him this is what happens that's why i don't usually help that's true uh moss uh do you want to take it or do you want to roll for the dogs to take it no i'll i'll take it okay uh, how much damage halved ed Oh, Ed, by the way, you aren't helping. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you are not helping. And I, we don't know each other, though, right? These are four strangers that have appeared at this thing. So I, the, one of the contestants blatantly just attacked my character, right? That's how I saw it. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure I know what's going on. How did he see anything? There's a, there's a giant goblin in front of him. Oh, an arrow from a longbow. <laughs> <laughs> It went through the, through the goblin's legs and right into his forehead. I think he's got the Steve Martin look going right now. <laughs> uh, how much damage, Ed? <laughs> Ed, damage? Four. That's halved? That's halved. <laughs> okay, Moss, uh, you're up again. I rolled a nine, so I just reduced it down to four. Always round down. 18. Oh, yeah, that gets him. All right. 18 points of damage. Ooh, uh, that hurt. Uh, I'm going to roll at disadvantage on his deck save. Uh, I see a five and a 16. Uh, he flies off the back end, lands in a snowdrift. Your dog's panic stricken because you have a rather nice trickle of blood going down your shoulder from the longbow. Uh, take off running. Uh, bad news, uh, Moss and Ed give me D six odd even. Odd. Okay. Even. Ooh, not a good day for you, Moss. Okay. Uh, everybody <laughs> has arrived at the Tower of Nicholas. Roll your D four. Take into account. Any plus or minus that you got from your dog sled team? You zero. Yeah. Zero. Three. 
Three. We both rolled threes, and we have zeros for pluses. So three, three, one. Bud and Sweaty. So I have plus one. So I had up two. I rolled one. Okay, so two. Ooh, four. Uh, Bud, it seems as though the scenic route uh, kind of slowed you down a little bit. <laughs> uh, sorry. You're, you're muted, Dad. You're muted. You're, you're, you're muted. Probably, probably good. <laughs> probably good. Yeah, so what the? <laughs> but, I said I had a minus one on that, too, I think, didn't I? Uh, you had uh, minus one. Yep. So you only had three then, correct? Yeah. Okay, that's not horrible. That's uh, what I get for having dice that roll high numbers. Uh, you arrive at the same or at the same time as uh, Keenan and Ed. However, both Tall Sack and Mister Moss uh, sprinted their way first. In a tie, uh, Moss, you would have uh, beaten Tall Sack, but the even cost you a point. So you guys uh, have done fairly well. You arrive at the decrepit tower. Uh, give me perception checks. Is that the Tower of Nicholas? Tower of Nicholas. It's, it's decrepit. Uh, 18. 18. I got to find my perception. Nine. For Ed. Ooh, I got a dirty 20. 17. Probably the only one I rolled this night. A dirty 20. 19. The only one I'll ever Everybody roll. but uh, Ed notices uh, there's nothing around here. And where's our supplies? <laughs> That's the dogs. Why? It's the dogs. Damn, we do the dog to death. Uh, <laughs> dogs are hungry. Feed them. I was Correct. gonna say, really up the the sound effects in this game today. Hey, you know, uh, it, it's Christmas. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, there is no supplies. There is. Is there somebody here keeping score though? Nope. Where's the person that's supposed to be here to uh, the spotter? Well, we'll yeah, start with Sweetie Tall Sack and Mr. Moss. Do you want to go into the tower? Yeah. I want to find the dead to... body. Oh. Are these people near me? Uh, you said it was a you know you, solo. you and Moss uh, have arrived first, but uh, Bud, Keenan, and Ed are within viewing distance as they're coming up. And I don't know this person, Moss, right? You do not know him at all. And there's a dead body. A dead body, and Moss has an arrow sticking out of him somewhere. <laughs> so, from my point of view, Moss just killed this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you and Moss arrived at the same time. Nice try, Sweaty. Uh, he's trying to say, from his point of view, he thinks uh, Moss killed this guy. Literally, yeah. right at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Moss, uh, Moss did not kill him because you guys arrived at the same time. You also noticed that there are no supplies here. Hey, what, Moss, what time of day is it? Moss right. took your supplies, too. <laughs> I, I, Yeah, I get out my... Dagger, yeah, and I and I'm like, where's the supplies, Moss? I got here with you, you ignorant. <laughs> ah, the Orsina cup is. I'm just I'm just wondering why he took a gag out of his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I take out the gag, and where's the supplies, Moss? <laughs> I'm gonna look around. Do I see footprints or anything around the body or around the, the tower? You do not see any footprints. And no, no, like, oh, hey, here's the where they drag supplies out kind of thing. Can can we go to the top of the tower to look out? Well, are you two going into the tower? Yeah. I'm going into the tower. I thought that's where the body was. Uh, yes, but you could see it from the entrance. Oh, okay. So I to tell Sweaty Tall Sack, I said, listen, you ignorant half elf, I got here with you. I thought freaking you passed me by. Do you remember passing me earlier? Hey, Tulsa, he may have slipped up here last night and did all this and then hit the supply. That's floor. why he's got that to happen. That's, That's where all that damage came from. I'm going to go get a blue from the sled and go to the top of the tower. Uh, Sweaty and Mr. Moss, roll initiative. The murderer is still inside. Uh, How did you know Ed and Bud started? two rounds later? 23. Three. 23 and three. Wow. Uh, 
two. No shit. My initiative rolls are crap. Uh, Moss, as you venture in, no tracks whatsoever in this old ruined tower. Uh, you can tell that the tower has been ruined for quite some time, so the damage is not new. The dead body is new. There is still a trickle of blood, and it appears as though the top of his head is missing. No, he is not Casper Van Diem, and no, this is not Starship Troopers, but his head has been pecked open, and as you look up, because there are no tracks, the Grell descends <laughs> nice uh mr moss you're up first uh, do, I, am, do i have time to uh pull out my sword to attack okay i'm gonna pull out my short sword and attack as it's descending okay uh 23 easily Oh, uh, 12 points. Oh, nicely done. Uh, sweaty tall sack, you're up. It is a grill. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's an octopus with hanging tentacles and a big beak, uh, that can float on air. Hence, okay. And we just walked in, right? You just walked in, saw the Her dead body that there last night. So, yeah, there, exactly. so there's a door to this watchtower. Nope, no door. Then Man, I leave. I, I, start, <laughs> I leave. <laughs> And I begin blockading the entrance. With what, snow there, Calvin and Hobbes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's making a snow fort? I uh, just start blockading the entrance with anything that's around. Odd even. If it's even, it goes after Sweaty Tall Sack, and Moss will get an attack of opportunity. It is a six. I see the lion. It is going after Sweaty Tall Sack before he can build a snow fort. Moss, take a cheap shot at him. Or let it attack uh, Sweaty Tall Sack? Or, or let him attack Sweaty I'm going to let it attack Sweaty Tall Sack. Fair enough. Uh, that is a 15 plus 4, 19. Uh, I assume that hits Sweaty Tall Sack, who is now in the dark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, that's going to be a D10, and you're going to need to give me a save. Uh, nine points of piercing damage from the tentacle, and you need to DC 11 versus con. Ten? Um, uh, you are paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moss, round two. Uh, you can hear the dog sleds approaching from the other side, and they will be in the area next round. But this round, it's you and the popsicle. Uh, the temptation to winnow, winnow out the uh, competition is really great, but I'm going to attack the grill. Okay, now, Moss, you do see the supplies in the back corner of the tower. Oh, the supplies are here after all. They are here. Well, They've I not could could go get my supplies and get them out to my sled. <laughs> you could. You are. You will be sleeping in the tower for the night. As oh, it's, okay, uh, I have better shelter. take care of the grill then. Yeah. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Uh, Seventeen points. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, uh, sweaty tall sack, give me another save. Let's see if you snap out. Of, or I'm sorry, no, you're only paralyzed one round. Uh, you may go ahead and attack as you come out of your stupor. Sweaty tall sack disappeared. I think he passed out. <clears throat> oh, here he comes. <laughs> I'm like, where did he go? <laughs> Sweaty Tallsack, your turn to attack as you have uh, come out of your stupor. Yay. So, grabbing my... <laughs> is there, it, um, can I one hand a rapier and a dagger? Are you proficient with uh, dual wielding? If not, you will attack at disadvantage on your offhand. And I will attack with my rapier and my rapier alone. There you go. So, four? Yeah, that's a <laughs> little bit low. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we go back to Haunted <laughs> even to see two. Boy, does it hate you, sweaty tall sack. Uh, three. Uh, doesn't hate you enough. Uh, Bud, Keenan, Ed, you arrive uh, to see two sleds, two dog sled teams ahead of you, and you hear clang, bang, wong, jong, everything going on inside the tower. You see the flash of steel as Sweaty Tallsack is uh, fighting Cthulhu, apparently. So you three go ahead and give me your initiatives at this point in time, please. Uh, 20, dirty 20. Natural 20 plus 5. Uh, I got 23. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, nat 20 first. Uh, you spring or not spring from your dog sled team, and you can see that there is an assailant attacking Sweaty Tall Sack, and Mr. Moss is nowhere in sight. So clearly, the tentacled person is, is Mr. Moss. Transformed. So the, give me, uh, what do you want to do, Ed? Uh, I'm going to start getting ready for my nighttime rituals. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Keenan uh, Field, you're uh, up next. Go fly by me again, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I'm going to take a pop shot at one of those tentacles and then leave it be. This, this so you're is where shoot. Moss gets it's hit again. Come <laughs> back in and try to hit a tentacle. I love you, son. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Use those crappy metal dice. That's, that's cold, man. That is cold. Is that a one? That's a 14. Damn. 14 plus 8. So that, that hits. All right. One die 8 plus 4. One die. Good thing that's sweaty tall sack short. But 10. 8 right there. 8. eight. Nicely done. And now I'm just going to leave it be. <laughs> Did his part. Yep. Did my uh, part. I helped. I can say I helped. Uh, Bud the or no, not Bud the Druid yet. Uh, Moss, uh, you have heard uh, assistance ish arrive outside, uh, and you've seen an arrow stuck in the creature, so somebody might be helping. <laughs> I'm gonna attack the girl again, but I'm not gonna be in the line of sight of the door. <clears throat> okay. I'll call out to whoever's outside to Caw 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 Uh 12. <laughs> 12 hits. Girls wow. are girls are squishy. Oh, 18 points. Uh good news. Bud, uh, as you dismount, uh, what would you like to do? Well, is the fight still going on? The fight is not going on as a large octopus creature with tentacles drops uh, odd next to sweaty tall sack or even on to sweaty tall, tall sack. Even, sweaty even, sack. even, 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 even. 19, sad, sadly, next to him. Uh, so no, the uh, assault is not going on. That you can see. There might be more creatures inside. Clearly Moss is summoning the spirits of evil. Looks to me like it. I'm going to secure my uh, team before I do anything, and then I'll move up to examine the situation. Fair enough. Uh, Moss holds out his weapons uh, like Mad Dog Tannen. <laughs> uh, slightly injured from a shaft in his body somewhere. Uh, Moss, would you like to tell everybody the, that you found the crap and the guy is oh. dead? Nope. Screw them. I'm going to go look at the supplies. <clears throat> Gather my supplies. <coughs> get my team taken care of. And then I'm going to look at the squid grill thing and go, is that edible? It is edible. I'm going to start a fire in the tower, wherever it's appropriate in the tower. And I'm going to start grilling calamari. Very nice. Uh, that will work. Everybody can witness this. You can all break down your teams. Uh, they do not mind sleeping outside, or you can bring them into the tower in case a Yeti is wandering about. Uh, you will be expected to spend the night here. Sadly, uh, you'll be doing it in the company of those who have tried to kill Moss. <laughs> uh, 
Are you going to eat the calamari yourself, or will you be sharing? I will share the calamari <laughs> with Bud. I'll Bud. be happy to share that with you. Hey, I helped, as I'm saying. And, I helped. I don't know that Keenan did anything. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. He went by me when I was being attacked by a goblin. I yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I repaid that. I shot that lizard, whatever it was, calamari thing. I don't know that. I just know someone who shot me with an arrow tried to shoot me with a second arrow, and they missed and hit the, the octopus. That's what I know. Okay. Uh, so you and Bud, go ahead and give me constitution checks. Not saved. to see how you like them. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's good. Uh, you stuff. cooked it to the proper temperature, and everything tastes a little bit squishy, but uh, that'll work. Everybody else... Uh, there, there is a box of supplies for each racer, including food, uh, food for your team. Uh, you may break them down. Does anybody want to leave them outside? Nope. Mine's coming inside with me. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, you have a 30 foot tower and it is, uh, breached off, uh, by the now dead guy. Uh, and night will pass uneventfully. So you got I'm going to go ahead and check his pockets while I'm in there. I mean, what the hell? Uh, he, since you've asked, whoo uh, 33 gold pieces and gems. <clears throat> now, uh, we do have the slight problem of the dead guy. Does anybody want to load him onto the sled uh, and take him to the next stop? Frank. I mean, I mean, Moss, like... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. I'm, I'm all for letting them know when we get there. Okay. I'm, I, I'm going to bury snow on him. Keep that body preserved. While they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, okay. Uh, you can. However, can everybody will be watching. Who's everybody? Everybody. These four? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, so it, it's time just because he wants to spend his time extra time to take off early to bury i think he was doing it that night yeah that no, night. he didn't night. say that we were next morning i oh. didn't say anything about that I nobody didn't... said morning Not yeah, nice morning try there never come up and besides i want to make sure you get a jump on me at some point of course oh. you know nobody said you had to stop and rest uh, actually, that, that was part of the rules by yeah, Don didn't. John Master. You can't either. leave till morning. That's right. Yeah, but after the stroke of midnight, it's morning. That's true, yeah. Morning's uh, when the uh, sun comes up. I, I will I will throw this out there. Does anyone want to screw over the group and leave early? No. Okay. I'm waiting, Ed. <laughs> well, you know what, guys? Why don't we go ahead and start now? Does anybody want to start now? No. What time is now, Ed? <laughs> 4 a.m. Still dark. It's supposed to start when the sun comes up. Yeah, it's close enough. We can start now. You don't want you don't want to take your time now? You want so to you don't you don't want to rest the entire night, is what I'm hearing. Just four hours. Are you an elf? Yes, I am. Ah. <laughs> we ain't doing that shit. I know that game. <laughs> We're gonna re I'm resting all night. I'll leave at dawn when we're supposed to. I, I have opened up the floor. If anyone wants to cheat, that's fine. Uh, I'm not saying penalties have been written in or not. I'm just saying that's fine. I, I'll do it. I, I will wait. Oh, you're going to take off? Sure, with you, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, there's two of you doing it now. Is that right? Well, Is that right? Yeah, we haven't joined forces, but I'm saying we're still I see where going this is going on. now. Shaking his hand behind his back. <laughs> there, there is no third party here, so <clears throat> it's up to you guys. So, I'll yay wait. or nay? I'll wait. All right. Dawn breaks. Uh, you guys get your sleds geared up. Uh, I will take perception checks by everybody, please. Um, 22. 15. A natural 20. Yeah. 16. 18. Fair enough. Uh, Who know? 
Okay. Hang this on. Is where my rolls come back, and I have no good rolls anymore. Uh, hang on a second. I. <clears throat> Some of you have messages. So you get everything geared up, sweaty tall sack, and Mr. Moss, you uh, are slated to leave first. Uh, with a 15-minute head start. All right. I'm out. Okay. I'm going to tell the dog, <laughs> Rolla DeVille is still sleeping, and we're taking off. Okay. Uh, sweaty tall sack, are you taking off? Yes. Uh, the answer is no to that question uh, put out. I'm out. Okay. And what I'm going to wait however long we're supposed to. Uh, 15 minutes for you, Keenan, and Ed. You guys are all pretty bunched together right now. All right. All right. <laughs> No, you um, gotta wait for me and Grandpa. Do they look normal? Or are they just normal? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, I dump them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Moss, sweaty tall sack to Franklin. <laughs> Franklin, you guys head off, oh, and Franklin, you will be uh, having to choose. Uh, there seems to be a split here, and since you have no idea what's going on. Uh, there seems to be a split Ooh. straight out to the right, or the safe bet is straight ahead and curving to the left. Because the guy's dead, you have no idea. Lord have mercy. To the right! Uh, sweaty tall sack. Can I wait for everyone else to come? You know, sure. see. Yeah, now that's going to that's going to cost you, but you can do that. 15 minutes. Um, did he, Moss go to the right? Because I'll go to the right. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Uh, Bud, Keenan, Ed, uh, you wait the allotted time ish. <laughs> Same decision for you guys. Go up right or left? Left. All right. I'll go left too. I'll go left. Interesting choice. Uh, Keenan, you're dragging ass today. Your dogs are tired or something. You are going kind of slow. All right. All right. All right. Then I'll cast something. Okay. Can I, can I cast a spell? That sure. I, do. I don't mind at all. Uh, then I'll cast Long Strider. Well, that only, that's only good for you, right? All right. Then if I can't do that, I'll cast Beast Bond, because I'm pretty sure that... Gives no, me... long stride, you can touch a creature, I think. Okay, do you want to uh, stop what? your wagon and... Uh, it just gives them, like, ten extra foot of movement. But only one of them, right? I yeah. I don't know, I guess. I didn't... Really yeah, remember. it's only one. One. I guess the test... I'll touch the one that's going the least as fast is the front. The front, I guess. Give me a uh, perception check. <clears throat> uh, 12 uh, some jackass has put rocks into your dog sled you got them too uh huh I, I do want to point out uh, if the official was alive would that be doping if he's casting long strider on his dogs uh, well uh, he's doing it after up. he leaves <laughs> no big scandal in the, the race just saying uh, there was nothing in the rules about that yeah yeah, that's true. Magic uh, was not specifically mentioned. Uh, we will go with the two going to the right. Uh, Sweaty Tall Sack and Mr. Moss. Uh, as you guys head down a narrow pass, uh, give me a perception check to see if you spot the sign. Uh -oh. 21. 15. You both spot a sign that says Avalanche Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Thunderclap? Where's Thunderclap? Uh, you see that the canyon kind of 
pinces off or pinches off uh and you can see uh, today is 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 not as pretty as yesterday so most likely bud will not be dorking around watching the sights scribbling in his sketchbook uh and you notice uh a little unusual movement right there at the top of the pinch point uh you may go for it or turn around and lose a significant amount of time going for it wait am i near moss yeah you're right behind him well i'm just thinking why don't we work to go a little go slow just you know no no rush in the avalanche just yeah avoiding an avalanche is going slow is always the key (laughs) you're so screwed by him sweaty sack and can you say we see movement, uh, movement like a, a creature or movement like a big thing of ice slowly working its way loose? The latter. <laughs> <laughs> whack, whack, whack. Did we dump uh, the rocks? You, you've dumped the rocks already. Uh, Moss opts to not go slow. Sweaty sack, do you want to go slow or do you want to follow suit? An indifferent, a uh, medium pace, you know. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'll take a light jog. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, give me wisdom saves to see if you can zigzag through the falling glacier. You're going to be called Sweaty Blue Sack in a minute. Uh, tall Sack or, or Sweaty Sack or Sack, you're at minus two. It's going to be Sad Sack. Uh, 14. Well, that's not bad. Mr. Moss. You need the roll now? <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. What did oh. you know? Uh, sweaty tall sack has made the proper choice as the snow whoop levels uh, Mr. Moss <laughs> buried uh, under uh, uh, Karma uh, hates you, biatch. Uh, sweaty tall sack. Your associate ahead seems to be buried, possibly dead. Did you want to stop and dig him out or go He's over right his over top of him? Hey, sweaty, he's probably already dead. So uh, just, he's going to go over top. We're all over top. Come on, make sure it's on the recording. That's right. His new name will be, be Jarmander Blue Balls. <laughs> what do you want to do? Just oh, sweaty. He dropped that dead creature almost on top of you. I, just, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't, uh, you can where did dig he go? out. You could dig out. Oh, you saw it fall. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't see anything. Taking the medium pace was certainly the right choice. He called me the ignorant one when he <laughs> said to. <laughs> yeah, that is true, and I think go that on is recorded <laughs> for it. There's so I that. don't you be afraid. <clears throat> I make my way out of the canyon or avalanche place. Fair enough. Uh, but, you know, did... on my way out, just you know, just really. Sure. Are you yeah. clapping? <laughs> I I understand that. That is, that is fair. Give me, <coughs> give me your D four, sweaty. Um, wait. and then a plus. Yep, three. So three. Uh, Moss, give me two D four <laughs> plus oh. one. <laughs> Two for the first roll, two for the second roll. So is it to- cumulative four minus one? Uh, four minus one plus one, so four. Okay. It's not two minus one, two minus one plus one? No. I like that math better. Yeah. Uh, well, it would still be plus one. So. <laughs> Over to the left. Uh, as you guys move simultaneously the three of you are abreast it looks like ben Hur, for god's sake uh the tundra is beautiful uh there's signs of animal crossings here uh but unfortunately you're all going to need to make a perception check to see the danger here ouch 22 bud try again you're muted oh not perception i'm sorry that was Sorry, right, seventeen. Nineteen. Um, oh, uh, 20. I got a, I got a ten. 
Very good. You be you will be rolling at disadvantage as Bud and Ed notice a depression ahead. That would indicate a river. <laughs> uh, Bud, Ed, do you want to slow up or go like gangbusters? Because it is cold out here. Jesus Christ! Is it the river covered with snow? We don't no, know. We don't, yeah, don't know yet. You haven't river. reached the depression. I'm gonna slow down. I'll go at a medium pace. <laughs> I want to slow down so I can see what it is and which direction it's flowing. Same here. I want if you to go see fast enough, you can jump it. That's right. The Duke yeah. boys might be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he, uh, Keenan, uh, you're going at a medium pace, and you don't see that it's a river. So you will be making your... Where the heck is this? Uh, you will be making your acrobatics check at disadvantage. Oops. Good thing you got a decent one. Yeah. But it's at a disadvantage. So and better, it's my dice. You, you better roll <laughs> 20. Well, at least it's a 7, not a 1. I thought it was 10. So that's a 11. 11. He has a lot more disadvantage, right? So there's a second roll coming. Yeah, it could be worse. That's 15. Shut up. But okay. That's 19. So I guess it was the first one. Uh, good news, Bo and Luke. Uh, you go down into the ditch, and your sled cracks through the icy river and begins to sink as the dogs start to scrape the shit out of the ice trying to get away. Uh, Ed, Bud... Uh, you see Captain Marvelous here go sinking. Uh, how do you want to proceed? Uh, so is the river crossing left to right in front of me then? Yep. No way uh, other than crossing it. No bridge. Oh, okay. all right. You know what? Fudge with it. Let's go full bore. Okay. Go Acro fast and get across. Acrobatics normal. Bud, what do you want to do? I want to do the same thing. Try to get not where. <laughs> I hate you. Natural not 20 plus five. I know where Cletus is. <laughs> okay. yeah! I got a, it's acrobatics. Yep. It'd be a 15. Uh, looks like both of you have chosen wisely. Uh, you do see oh, Keenan no. having a problem getting no. his dogs and his sled out of the drink. <laughs> do you want to stop and help him or Ho! Uh -oh. Help who? who? Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna head on up the road. This yeah. is for the Orsina Cup, baby. <laughs> That's uh, right. Okay. Uh, you know the drill. Keenan, two D four plus one, uh, and then any adjustments. Ed, Bud, just uh, straight up D four. Oh, let me get a different dice. Not that good one. Seven. Bitch owes me every time. Keenan rolled a seven. I rolled a three. What Minus three one would be a two. Woohoo! One. Uh, okay, this is where the math kills me. So you are at. Keenan Keen are zeros. Keenan rolled a seven. I rolled a one. <laughs> Keen, yeah, so I'm also from nine. I don't care. Ain't my problem. Two. I know. Just did that. I know. I love you. Son. Two. Yeah, right. I don't. I love to watch you die. Yeah. Well, I, I, I can tell. Driving past me at full speed. Uh, everybody pulls into Franklin at, or Keenan. Give me a Constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Keenan. Okay. Yeah, right. Oh, he needs one. I can tell by what he's doing. Constitution, buddy. <laughs> Eighteen. We know uh, that look, don't we, Jason? Oh my God, it's coming through the shirt. Oh my God. Don't, oh, don't stay oh, away from open uh, flame. Uh, Frankie, oh, 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 Frankie. Oh. Good, good news, uh, Keenan. You do not freeze to death on your way I in. That kept me warm. Everybody pulls into Franklin. Uh, however, we have Bud, one, 
Moss no, no, no. and Ed at two, uh, Tall Sack at three, and Keenan at four. So we've started to change up the order. Uh, good news. Uh, you spend the night in Franklin, and there are race authorities here. Who wants to tell them the good news about the tower? <clears throat> Bud says yay. Uh, um, I think Talsack told me a story that he saw Moss kill the uh, authority there. Yeah, uh, I don't have the charisma to convince anyone of anything. No, oh, I do. That's what oh, I did. Hey, Talsack, what did you see? You said you saw a body and, and the blood was on Moss? <laughs> I'll tell him there was a growl killed the race I, spotter. I showed up second. Ma showed up first. He had arrow. It was just crazy. I don't know what he he told me everything was fine. So I don't know what he'd be thinking. But <laughs> well, you can tell Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you can tell Christmas is over, can't you? <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, give me a persuasion check, sweaty, and a persuasion check, bud. Perfect. Uh, Twenty-two. Persuasion. Ooh. Twenty-two. Um, I just look into Moss if I were you. I'm Ma just... Moss. I'm going to need a persuasion for you as well. <laughs> um, and was that charisma? I rolled a nineteen plus one twenty. Okay. <laughs> uh, Moss, you're going to be questioned. <laughs> <laughs> this is the karma for that slime uh, superhero slime game you did. That was 25 years ago. And I've never forgot it, you bastard. That's true. <laughs> I lost a leg, I lost a life, and I got molested by a giant... Uh, and what were you? Count Dracula? I every time you turn the mist... He took every time leg, he turns the metal leg replacement, and I went to this <laughs> and it fell to earth. Wow. Wow. I know. Uh, Moss is D12 against me. Let's see what the local authority feels. Uh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Roll a D4 there, Moss. You're going to be delayed. <laughs> Two. Uh, okay. Uh, morning dawns anew you are halfway through your race for the coveted orsina cup you are headed towards the northeast strangely enough uh it looks pretty much like everything else you're gonna have to go high or you're gonna have to go low uh we will start with bud high meaning outside low meaning inside You're muted, bud. Sorry about that. Uh, no, I'll go where the arrow is. Low. West go side out. of the mountain range. Uh, Moss, where are you going to go? Inside. Uh, Ed? i go the outside. Ed, uh, you're going to have to roll a d12 against me. Uh, but hang on. Uh, Keenan. I'll go inside. And uh, Tall Sack. Are we, are we at that like um, thing up you're, top? You're here, and we're going. You're gonna have to choose this route or this route. Okay, I'll go inside. So here, correct? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, okay, Big Ed, uh, D12 against me. Six. Ten. Ah, uh, aren't you that freak of nature that can't keep his pants on? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're going to have to persuade this guy that you are not a sexual deviant and not on a list somewhere. Otherwise, you'd be rolling a D4, too. Is that guy a uh, halfling? Ten. It is a halfling. Ten. Ten? You rip your pants off out of excitement. Uh, he got a 19. He's pretty sure it's you. Roll me a D4. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm pulling my pants down as he's uh, looking at me. 
Oh, whoa. Ooh, halfling. Oh, I don't know whoa. what you're talking about, but look what I got. <laughs> One. Uh, One? Oh, my God. Uh, the order is as follows. Bud will take off first. Uh, <laughs> all, <laughs> over a half hour later, tall, or sweaty tall sack and Ed will take off, followed by Moss. And of course, Keenan, uh, the gong <laughs> rings and you take off. We will start with Ed, who's the only one who went outside. Give me a animal handling saving throw, please. Natural 20. Uh, it's beautiful here. Uh, you could see yourself building a cabin. I mean, this is a nice, <laughs> nice area. A lot of pine trees. Wouldn't that be an igloo? <laughs> He's taking a high ridge. Uh, everybody else went inside uh, everybody else roll me your animal handling save uh, 23 14 oh 14 you're you're blind you shut up man roll it plus two 17 17 <laughs> what's so funny what's so funny Sweaty tall sack and moss. You've run into a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so sorry, but it is so funny. <clears throat> uh, a lot this round. Ah, uh, crap. Where is it? Okay. Uh, as you four are raging through the inner sanctum here, uh, you two, uh, which uh, you, you guys are bringing up the rear because you guys left later, uh, you notice that the dog sleds ahead of you have disrupted a herd of caribou. Two of the bucks are not happy at all, and one is going after each of you. One on Keenan and one on Mr. Moss. Uh, I thought I will... it was Tallsack and Moss. <clears throat> uh, was it Nick? That yes, Nick failed was Tallsack. Him? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Tallsack. Uh, yes, I see it now. Uh, Tallsack, you disrupted it, and Moss was behind you. Uh, so you two are going to deal with it. So that means Bud and Keenan, would you like to help or forward ho for the Orsina Cup? <laughs> forward ho, baby. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Moss, uh, Sweaty, give me initiative rolls, please. Did you say initiative? 14. 15. Okay, uh, these caribou are going to come after you. If you'd like to try and evade, you can, or you can try and beat them off as you go past them. Your choice. We'll start with Sweaty Tall Sack. So, beat them off, Sweaty Sack. Beat them off, Sweaty Sack. I knew my choice was poor. Got a skill. Yeah. <laughs> so Moss is behind me, right? Moss is behind you. Then I keep going. I go faster. Well, you also have a caribou on you, so you will have to try and evade yours. Okay, evade. Okay. Uh, give me a survival roll, please. Natural 20. I yeah, you, 20, one. Your, your dogs are doing their thing, and you are starting to leave that thing in the dust. Moss, uh, you see him outrun his. Good news, it is not turning on you. You just have the one. So would you like to try and strike it or try and evade I'm going to try to evade survival check please no that was uh, only oh yeah that was only survival one. huh wait let me rethink that <laughs> <laughs> 20 dirty 20 uh these caribou are old and must have ticks because they cannot keep up <laughs> with you and your dogs you have success the successfully Dodge this. Everybody give me your D4 roll, please. And any adjustments? Zero. Zero. What'd you have? That right. includes the adjustment. Heel. Tina had a three. I had a one. I have a two. That's with adjustments. We have none. Okay. That window's open. That window's open. Close that window. Why? Your mother. 
Yeah, you close it, old man. I'll close it while I leave a drink here. Oh, stop. Stop. Well, uh, things have quickly tightened. Uh, good news. You all arrive at Jason's Steak. Uh, pretty much in sync. However, Ed, taking the scenic route, uh, is about 15 minutes behind three of them as Bud uh, and his druidic skill have leapt into the lead. However, there's a problem at Jason's stake as it is under attack. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. All right. Uh, yeah, my initiative rolls. 13. 18. 15. Uh, 19. Nice one, boy. Boy, nice. I, I know. Boss? Uh, 13. Uh, 19 starts us off. Keenan, uh, looks like it's an Eton. Uh, and it's leading ogres who are attack, or I'm sorry, bugbears who are attacking uh, the minas here. So your focus is on the end. What are you doing, boy? I'll shoot my longbow. Okay. My longbow. <clears throat> You have like freaking 22. 22. Easily hit. Die 8. Pull all those dice out of there. Now grab your die 8. No, oh, that's a die 10. That's a die 8. I'll oh, add plus 4. Plus 4. 9. Nine to the Etten. Next up is the 18. Uh, that would be Tall Sack or Sweaty Sack. Sweaty Tall Sack. Yeah. Um, so we all got here at like the same time? Uh, plus or minus 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to back up a little bit and then, you know, tend to my dogs, you know. <laughs> screw over people that's, uh, that's respectful well uh, so they're so they're ready for the final stretch maybe they'll go faster if i tell <laughs> uh, as long as you yeah. buy that i think you're fine uh pantless ed you're up i want to pull past everybody get out a little bit and just you know keep away from the action you know i don't want my dogs to get hurt it's all about the dogs Oh, okay. That's fair. Uh, so, so screw the party. That's fair. I got a pair of 13s, a Moss and Bud. I'm going to cast Flaming Spear. I don't know where the biggest concentration of these things are at. Probably around the end. What would you call it? An ant? Or Etten? Etten. Etten. Two-headed Etten. I'm going to cast Flaming Spear up there. That requires a dex save on their parts. Here's a one die ten. Uh, that's going to fail. Because that's a two. And that is 11 points of damage each. Well, there's just one, but it's two-headed. Okay. Uh, Moss. Uh, I'm going to cast Hail of Thorns uh, around uh, whatever the... If there's a grouping that's within five-foot circle or appear to be, I'll cast it on that. Otherwise, I'll hit the Etten. Uh, the miners seem to be dealing with the bugbears okay, so Etten is probably your best choice. Uh, then Etten, DC uh, 13 for the Etten to resist. Uh, that's a six, so it doesn't matter what it's going to be. That's a fail. <laughs> uh, die 10 damage. Nine points. 29. Three of you are engaged with it, and it can run fairly quickly. So I'll do one, two, boss, three, four, bud, five, six, uh, Keenan, four, and six. It's going to go after bud and Keenan. Uh, one uses a battle axe, one uses a morning star on bud. Uh, 15 plus 7, 22. Uh, 10 plus 7 on Keenan. Does 17 hit Keenan? Some are just like a mace, though. Keenan! Mace is just a ball on a stick. He's a Keenan! Keenan! what I do? Does 17 hit you? Uh, yeah. 
Bud and Keenan take <laughs> yikes. Uh, 17 damage. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Tulsac and Ed, you will see this uh, and you oh, will God. know that if you don't help, you may be next on the breakfast list. So we will start back with the 19. Uh, Keenan, you're up round two. Yeah, I planned on helping. I'm just doing it from afar with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you didn't stop and evaluate the situation. Yeah, like a Keenan, what you gonna do? Keenan, yeah, you're up. I'm gonna attack back with my axes, my double axe. He's dual wielding, and he has two weapon fighting. Attack! All right, cool. Uh, I'm Die twenty per an axe. Hell, ah, Jesus! All right, that one. Wait, no, 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 no. Plus Where's three. your axe? Okay, so that was what? An eight? Eleven. Eleven doesn't That's hit. A nine. Oh. Okay. Uh, you need a twelve. It, it was a twelve. I'm sorry. It's three plus nine. I thought he rolled an eight. That hits. That's one hit. That's definitely a 17. hit. Seventeen. Now roll your damage. One die six. Three. So roll one die six twice and add one to each of the rolls. Come on, just roll. All right. Sure. Uh, that's a three, and that's a four three. and four. Eight points. Uh, next up's my eighteen. That would be tall sack. Skinny sack. Small sack. 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 Ball sack. <clears throat> what you gonna do, sweaty? Muted. Ball sack, we can't hear anything. I think he bumped the mic. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yep. we hear you. Oh, whoops. Sorry. How close am I to the action? Uh, you and Ed are just hanging out in the back, letting everybody else do the work. Well, who's like closest? Like, <laughs> and, and <laughs> uh, Ed and Bud, or I'm sorry, I mean, I, and um, Bud both took hits. So, or like, the enemy that we're trying to fight, or they're trying to fight, I'm just chilling. But like, who's closest, like to the enemy, to them? Uh, Keenan and took a hit. Bud took a hit. Moss was not struck that round. Okay. Um, I'll go to whichever one's on Bud. But I have a perfume vial and flint and steel, so I'm gonna do one of those. Yeah. Let's you know? talk. <laughs> No, like, you know, you sprint the <laughs> thing and then you put the fire onto it. <laughs> yeah. You're real smart, aren't you? <laughs> I just want to say, there, uh, Moss, you gave birth to that. I, Let me just say, say myself. I did not. Oh, <laughs> you're hot. at least partially responsible for that. Hopefully he's going to oh, always going to do his fist at all. Oh, I like that Okay, Axe Body Spray. Uh, see if you can hit it using Dexterity as your modifier. Uh, one or a two will mean that you will spray uh, Bud, Keenan, or Moss. My guess is probably Moss. Wait, like, <laughs> how, wait, how low in, to hit them? I got one or a two? I got a 13. Although I wish actually, I got a one. Actually, you spray the Etten, so give me 1d6 fire damage. Awesome. Don't you just love it when things work out? I was hoping Moss would catch on fire. Well, I got six. <laughs> 43. Uh, brings us to the 15. Ed. Everybody else seems to be doing your dirty work. Well, pluck a shot in. Go ahead. Please be a one. Please be a one. At 20. Oh, nicely done. Damage, damage modifier. <laughs> I can't even think. 13 plus uh, 14. You okay? Math is hard. Calculator? Yeah, man. It's hurting. 27. You, use new math. That'll help. <laughs> I, I just started doing it. I'm like, I don't know how to count. Nice. Uh, you know, 
uh, that's first sign. You should probably get him in the car and start driving him away. Uh, <laughs> 13s, bud. Moss. Uh, this creature's looking pretty banged up, but it's still heaving two weapons. So. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Ooh, nice. So who's who's within the, the <laughs> zone of fire of the Etten at the moment? Me. You two and Keenan. Sweaty is behind you guys, breathing fire like some kind of weird carny. Well, uh, since I'm in melee range, I'll hit it with my short sword. Okay. And then get blasted from the back. I missed. Uh, only takes a 12 to hit it. I missed. Is he in combo, but I missed. How bad? So is Moss right up against this creature now? Yes. Damn it. Well, I guess I ain't doing that. Yeah, you can. It's okay. No. Do I it. understand Do Moss it. is a murderer. I'm not quite <laughs> like the rest of you little pricks. Moss is a murderer, leaves you to die. All these yeah, things. And, and you know what? That brings us back to you being responsible for pretty much this entire cast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Touche. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, thanks a lot, for me, you. Dick. <laughs> Can you stop breaking my stuff? No, I don't say that because I think your first name is Richard. <laughs> oh, I caught it. Trust yeah, okay. me. That's the first time I've been called that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I cast Flame Blade. I rolled a 19 to yeah. hit him. You got him. That is 10, 14 points of damage. Fire damage. Uh, you guys are going to take a shower after that. <laughs> He is alive by one point, which means oh, he's going to get two more Jesus attacks in. <laughs> uh, here it comes. Oh, wait you know minute, what? Moss. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just going to kill my brother. Keenan hasn't went yet. Uh, yeah, he, he went does. first. He's ahead he of us. He had yeah, he went it. first. Uh, sweaty Tall Sack is now in range. So oh, one, oh, oh, one oh, good, Moss, good. two Keenan. Three, sweaty, four, bud, two attacks. Let's him roll four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> and a three. Uh, sweaty tall sack and bud the druid. Son of a uh, bitch. That's for calling me a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I got a breastplate and a shield, bitch. You better roll something better than an 18. Bud. 17 plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> Good roll too, could you? Sweaty. Uh, nine plus seven, sixteen. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Uh, Dang, that sixteen wouldn't have hit me. Who's who's the bitch now? <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you got? Double eights. <laughs> Plus five. Yeah. Uh, that's 21 yeah, I'm damage. Down. <laughs> I'm down. I'm going to say, I'm about to die. Keenan, exactly. you see the druid fall. It is your turn. I, Me? I'm going to help the druid because I'm also about to die, and I really don't feel like that. So the druid, I'm hoping will help. What are you going to do? I don't know. Use yeah. medicine. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, let's see if you got the same great medicine, medicine. you did last time. Yep, plus zero. All right, right. medicine. No, no. Do some medicine roll on that druid. I'm gonna heal him. I'll save you. <laughs> Put that tourniquet on his throat. Yeah. He rolled a letter. Uh, you are stable, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. Uh, eighteen. Awesome. Grandpa, take care of you. Grandpa, <laughs> take care of you. I am just a master of my craft. Of my <laughs> You're a master of something. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there you go, Frank. He could have saved you the same way, but he didn't. Uh, there was a choice in the other one shot. That's true. Sweaty tall sack, you're up. This Etten uh, doesn't look too hot. Sticking, sticking. So, okay. Um. Jump on his back and stab him in the head. You know, that's a good idea, actually, but... I is there one near Moss? Like, there's just the one heading. Okay, well, no, wait, um, I want to hear him finish this part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I already have my flint and steel, you know, pretty much lit and mm -hmm. going at it. So, and I have two flasks of oil. So I kind of want to. I'm gonna light them and just chuck them. Molotov you know, cocktail, it sure. Yeah, I wasn't on the elf baseball team, so I don't know where they're gonna go. Like, <laughs> right on me, bitch. <laughs> I just see it coming. Two hit using your dexterity <laughs> uh, as a modifier. Oh, this is gonna again suck. one or two. Okay, five, four, Man. and then. Man, let me whine. Oh, I have to. The first uh, 13. Uh, that hits. Eight. Uh, that misses. Uh, the 13 is good enough to splash it in its uh, neck region, uh, burning its carotid, and making it drop. Where does it drop? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm rolling a d6. You know what? I, I'll be I'll be kind. I will be kind. I'm gonna roll a d8. One moss, two Keenan, three sweaty, four bud, five through eight somewhere else. Four bud. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, I, I had to intrigue you there. Uh, oh, it, no, it, it, it falls crumpling to the ground. Uh, you notice that the miners here at Jason's Stake have managed to fend off the bugbears who are in full-on retreat. Uh, the individual named Jason comes up and gives you a very sardonic, well, thanks for helping. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you guys are the wacky racers. Uh, but you still have birds floating around your head. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drink a potion if I'm sitting up. You can sit up and drink a potion. Uh, you guys will be spending the night here at Jason's Steak. Uh, they will supply you with food and comfort. Uh, so everybody will be back up to full health uh, as you start the fourth and final leg Jeez. of your trip. Uh, but first, everybody give me your D4s. I roll like Frankie. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We aren't ready for the D4s yet. Oh, damn it, I rolled a one. No! Bullshit. Bullshit. Morning <laughs> dawns. <a day>. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Crap. This is it. One leg. Inside or out? Uh, straight down the middle. Inside. Come on. Gotta stay on the inside of the lane. That's what they do in that car. Bud, inside or outside? Otherwise, inside. You're uh, Ed, inside. Well, tall sack. Inside. Everybody is just hell bent on cannonball run tonight. Uh, this is for all of the marbles. <laughs> uh, as you as you go inside, you hear a loud crash as if an avalanche is on the outer rim. However, a big cloud appears over the mountains and settles on the valley. You guys are all rolling through. Now, oh, crap. The order was Bud, followed by Moss, uh, Sweaty, and uh, Keenan, with uh, Ed bringing up the rear. Everybody make a survival check. Uh oh. Survival. Plus two. 30, 20. 22. Hey, 22. You got natural 16. 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. 12. <laughs> Bud barely escapes. Uh, everybody manages to stay bunched up and going in the proper direction, although Bud was kind of headed off the track. Wobbly. Everybody roll your D4. 
because oh, this is man. how it ends. <laughs> one. Two. One. One. Two. So I have three ones and two twos. Sorry, math is hard. Uh, uh, Screw all the marbles. Maybe I should just start shooting dogs. <laughs> well, you know, over in the Vietnam, they eat them damn things. Yeah, as well as everywhere else in like Asia, China. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You are all racing to the finish line and you pull in. Are you ready? Yeah. It turns out Bud comes from behind, followed by uh, Moss and Keenan. Uh, Sweaty comes in fourth with Ed bringing up the last. Uh, that is how it will end. And that means the winner is, where am I? I guess I don't get to show you that one. Oh, hang on just a second. The winner, once I get my printer up and running again, because I had a wiring issue. Nope. Can't show you. <laughs> I guess we won't know until next uh, time. I have a beautiful Orsina cup uh, oh. for you. Yeah, I don't. I wonder. Yeah, it won't show up. Oh, there it is. Do you guys see that? I see the dogs. Oh, that's yeah, there's a dog page. Here. <laughs> How about now? Oh, there it is. Cool. I so, it says, what's that say on it, bitch? Oh. <laughs> there you go. So, nice. uh, once I get my threader back uh, from the company, that will be headed your way. Uh, the coveted Orsina Cup is the proud owner or is now owned by Bud the Druid. And that will barely be beating out Moss. Prominently displayed in my man barn. There you go. So, well, when Bob uh, slowly drifts away back out into the woods, I'm going to pluck him full of arrows from the distance. Uh, I, I was hoping for Ed to pull ahead one time. I, I mounted Old Blue right on the top of that sled. <laughs> I was I waiting for you to get a leap on me. I, I appreciate the individual who decided to load rocks onto the sled. Sadly, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't gonna throw you under the bus. Sadly, everybody but uh, Keenan found, found it, uh, and Sweaty almost didn't empty his cart. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you guys think? That was fun, it was a good time. Sa sadly, uh, one of you gets to gloat over the others. <laughs> no one died. <sighs> Damn near. Uh, oh, Bud. I was on one. Of, to kill the druid. I but basically calling me uh, a dick and a bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Guys, there's, there's a lesson here for all of you. You're going to call him that. Yeah, you like the, don't help the druid. Do, do it after combat. <laughs> he can't read lips. Just mute. <laughs> Just one point out, Keenan cost me the cup. Yeah. He did indeed. Uh, and hey, that, hey, hey, Keenan saved my life. I'll take about a uh, quarter of that. I kind of saved your life. <laughs> oh, how did you do really? that? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I did damage. Yeah, I killed it. I killed it. I, I think the biggest problem was Ed got identified and Moss uh, was nearly arrested. So I, <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think both of those factors led to a change in uh, the winning role. Oh, absolutely. Yes, buddy. That and crappy <laughs> dice rolls. But the important thing is you guys had fun, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, that, that is the important. And was everybody a ranger but me? No. no. Sweaty was a bard. Sweaty was a bard. Oh, okay. Remember, because he had the Good. one suit 
<laughs> so what you guys thought that being a ranger would give you an advantage yeah oh, I, I, I took it because frankie took it i'm like oh well let's just be rangers no i read the description for a, a swarm keeper and went that's creepy i want to do that i kind of gathered that from your description <laughs> i looked at it we're on snow i can use a bow while riding i think i like to do a ranger well, I, I'm just glad you guys had fun. But yeah, I figured since you it were Rangers, fun. I was not going to go ahead and penalize you for fighting. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys actually in evading the giant elk, you suffered no penalty. Had you ended up fighting the giant elk on turn three, uh, you would have had to roll two d four, and that certainly would have put you out of the race. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was uh, somewhat clever. It was. It was different. It was fun. I like the race yeah. part. That was yeah. funny. Yeah. And all the environmental hazards we kept running into. That would have gone over a lot easier if anyone tried to help at all, Sweaty, <laughs> looking at you. No one. <laughs> I, I like the fact that nobody made it in time to save the guy to tell you, oh, that's Avalanche Pass. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was a chance that you guys were going to be there when the Grell attacked. Ah, okay. Uh, but your roles were not there. So I'm like, eh, they aren't going to know what's going to happen because he would have told you about Avalanche Pass and the Frozen River. Those so uh, four-sided were dice were kind of kicking my butt. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> uh, final thoughts. Uh, Frank Sr., what would you think? Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. That was, that was a nice change from... You know, the typical whoring around and gambling and fighting that we do. So, well, I could have done that in here. Franklin, but you know, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, was a good time. Nicholas, what'd you think? I liked it, but I'm gonna miss that name, Sweaty Tall Sack. Like, it's gone. Like, I can't. Who knows? Maybe you'll find an NPC called out. You could come back with one named Sweaty Ball Sack. There are, there are plenty of one shots. You know, the, the real, the generated name was Tall Stag. It's Tall Strag. And I just warped it. <laughs> greatly on this already magnificent invention. I think he or Cena sized that baby. Nice. Uh, little Frank, what'd you think? I thought it was great. You didn't huge. die. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. He had some good roles. Ever. Made in the best race here in this uh, D&D. Best race. We have the best races we've ever seen. Big Frank, what'd you think? <laughs> you've ever seen. I think my son's got a big mouth. <laughs> I, I think you're going to have to put up with a lot of shit for a year. <laughs> Unless we have a uh, or see. And you know what? I almost did Mario Kart and gave people shells and bananas. <laughs> oh. That's what I was looking that, for. I was wondering how that could have been fun. Path. Yeah, because I, I, I should have given you guys maybe, maybe in the summer you'll be in the Bahamas and you'll have to do the uh, Orsina sand pit race. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? I think I'm keeping this character, and if Ed ever shows up in a game again, this character's coming back. Uh oh. Hey, back. I like Ed. Uh, that life is life is karma. I like I Ed because Ed. Ed allows me to screw with you. <laughs> yeah. uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed this uh, off-kilter one-shot, we'll say. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, hit us up on Discord. If you want to buy our stuff, it's there. Uh, we don't care. <laughs> uh, don't forget to thank uh, the sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, and, of course, oddfishgames.com. Make sure your game doesn't stink. Pick up some of their adventure sense except putrid sewers, which is ghastly. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us here or on the talk show on Tuesdays, hit us up, mhoboinc, at either Twitter or Gmail, and we will get you on a show. Uh, for everybody here, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope your holiday season is glorious. Everybody wave. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on.